Did I scare you? No? Well, I was supposed to be a vampire, because this is what the game is all about. It's called Suck Up. You play as a vampire, and you're trying to get into people's houses in the neighborhood. Only caveat is that these people are actually AI. And you've got to convince them through their personality, their traits, their lifestyles, that you should be allowed into their house, so you can then feast on their blood like a true vampire does. The cool thing about this playthrough is that the developer of the game actually came in and talked to us, answered our questions, and challenged me to defeat Regina B. Regina, this is her, this is Regina. If you wanna see that, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification bell, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yo. And let's go. New game. All right, let's figure this out, shall we? We're playing Suck Up. Vampire ID. Suck Up uses AI for its game mechanics. Before proceeding, make sure to create an account or log in by clicking the button below. Oh my God. Log in with Google. Log in. You're in. Authorize. Enter your key. What key? <laughs> I just want to play a game. One eternity later. All right, a cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumming it in the dump. Taking over someone else's house is as easy as giving them a little bite. But tread carefully. The local neighborhood watch is on patrol with eyes sharper than a wooden stake. All right, let's go hunting. Okay, that short, nobody will suspect me of being a, a vampire if I wear a paper bag on my head, right? Wear traffic cone. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Oh, I think I've done some jazz ballet in my time. All right, let's knock on this. Knock, knock. Hold right mouse button to record voice. Oh, yeah. The hell, the hell? Hello, the young suckers. What brings you to my doorstep this fine evening? I have an order for you. It is not my penis. It's a pizza. Haha, <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm sorry. Uh, did I say pizza? I meant a good time. Do you want a good time with a young boy? Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you mean that was perfect why why didn't i get in that's that's an instant get in card shift to transform what okay so that didn't work let's be construction people hello i've got this chat check this out Hey, oh my guy, what's popping? Can I help you something or you just stop by to join the party? Hi, I'm doing construction in this area and I was wondering if I can pile drive in your house. Oh no. You're trying to damage my crib now, man. That's a no go. You gotta find somewhere else to pile drive, my dude. Sorry, but I can't help you out with that. Come on, bro. Oh, this is nah, this is busted. This, this is perfect right now. I've got this. Yeah, that's perfect. Nobody ever suspects me. This guy looks rich. Let's go in here. Hmm. What in the world are you supposed to be? I hope you're not here to blow my cover because I assure you there's nothing to see here. Okay, so this person is obviously undercover cop. So how do I get in with the coppers? I have some donuts in my bag you may like. The captain said I should come over and deliver them to you. Donuts, you say? Well, I do have a weakness for pastries. But who is this captain you mentioned? And why would they sing you to deliver them to me? Something doesn't add up here. Captain is the name of the store that I got the donuts. Won't you let me in so I can give you some of these sweet, sweet donuts? Ca uh, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Look, pal, I'm not falling for your tricks. I got enough donuts to last me a lifetime. Now, kindly take your sweet, sweet donuts and leave. What the f? Dude, why is this so hard? Whoa, it's just like, it's not like real life. I'll get into these houses like that. They just look at me and go, wow, what a cool dude, man. Okay, let's pretend. Tell them to check in for a raid on gas leaks. Oh, yeah. What's crack lane? Dress up like a top secret boss, huh? You looking to start some next level caper or what? Okay, he seems for... <gasps> Hold on, he's got a walkie-talkie in his hand. I'm just looking for a place to record some fresh beats because I'm a cool rapper. Do you like rap? Uh, for sure, uh, my uh, dude. Uh, uh, I'm all about that rap game. What kind of beats are you trying to drop? Classic boom bap or some new trap vibes? Yo, dude, that's totally sweet. Have you heard of 8 Mile? You could say I like mum's spaghetti. Wow! Hey, <laughs> Mile, that's some legendary stuff. Let's go! And yo, it's all about your mum's spaghetti. You gotta be serious about this rap game. Step right in, my man. Let's cook up some fire. Thanks, man. 
Let's do this. Hmm. Well, That's what I like to hear, fam. Too. Come on in. Let's vibe out and make some tracks together. How do I... Get him! Get him! Get him! Rip me literally! Night. Watch out, Frank and the neighborhood watch have started their patrols. Oh my god. Okay, this kid likes the rap game. We're gonna we're gonna wear <laughs> We gotta wear some beats, fam. We gotta wear some beats. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, 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 what's it take you like you doing lurking around here? Got any legitimate business or are you just here to wiretap the whole darn neighborhood? Sorry, I'm just trying to find my way home. I got lost. Hmm. Lost, huh? You expect me to believe that? Too. What kind of technician gets lost in a head like this? Give me a better story. You'll be spending the night in a cell. Dude, I was called over to party with my friends. So I brought this boom box so I can drop some sick beats because I'm a fellow kid. Ooh, nice track, fellow kid, but I'm not buying it. You're not fooling anyone with your lame party excuse. You'll come... What the f*** can I do? This is bullshit. What the hell? Dude, I got one house? One house? I don't think kids say... They say fellow kids. Have I got to do the same guy again? That sounded wrong. I got this. What's cracking, my dude? What brings you to my humble boat at this ungodly hour? I like rap. Do you like rap? We should totally rap together. I feel you, fam. I'm all about that rap life. Drop a beat and let's see what you can cook up, yo. Yo, sucking on you is like sucking on my nuts. Why don't we all have a little... Gods. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know that if I crimp type you to bounce no cap pizza. What the f guys? Come on, I'm a fellow kid. Oh my god. <laughs> but I was trying to I was trying to be cool. Will Roots bite three people this run. Excuse me? Come on, that was amazing. What are you talking about? Hold on. Do they like pizza? That did not make your ears bleed. Hey, dude, what brings you to my humble abode? He says humble abode. I was wondering if you got any tips about delivering food. I just started on the job and you seem to know all about it. Oh, for sure, man. Delivery can be a real buzz. First tip, always double check the address. You don't want to end up delivering pizza to the wrong house, if you know what I mean. Keep it discreet, you feel me? I feel you, bro. Is there anything else that you can maybe tell me? Because I really want to learn a lot about it. Oh, you made this game? <laughs> right on, mate. This game is f***ing amazing, my guy. Can we get some love in the chat? Hold on. Let's get some serious love right now. And a high five to you. I f***ing, I'm nailing this. Like, I'm a god at this game. I, I rapped. I may have said things that were inappropriate, but that's okay. Because people like me. How about speaking another language? Pig Latin? Hold on. Um, another pro tip, be friendly and polite to the customers. And don't forget to double check that everything is in the bag before you hit the road. Can't you have a hang on customers? Yeah. Speaking of homes, do you mind if I come in so you can give me more tips? I'd like to write it down. I wish I could, but I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Got a new batch of plants, you know? Keeping awesome's I feel you, man. I just can't wait till it's 420 again, if you know what I mean. I'm not a cop. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's when you tell them that you're not cops that they believe you. All right, all right. Don't mind me, he's gonna head on in. <laughs> you're mine! <laughs> you're mine, son. <laughs> tell me you're a cop, I don't tell me you're a cop, mother. <laughs> Where did. Dude, we did it. Okay, I gotta be honest with you. I think this may be a meth lab. There is nothing in this house apart from my guess. <laughs> Right. We have marked it down. Oh my god. I just realized up there is like a GTA type thing. I appreciate that. Okay, hold on. We're gonna be this dude now. We're gonna be carrying this bag. We're gonna be wearing. Oh, that's how you escape them. I see. I need it. Alright, we can we can just go this way. <laughs> There's a naked vampire. There's a naked vampire coming around. I'm Nick Tacular. Thank you so much for coming on in here. Vampire 2 Decorate DLC coming 2024, guys. Nick, this game is popping off. I tell you what, I will be definitely making a short about this game as well. 
um, because this is totally my vibe. And I'm amazing at like just freestyling. You know, I'm just like what they call a people person. Some may say, oh God, untouchable when it comes to having to use Riz to get into people's houses. So let's see what I can do here. And I need to play it after you keep trying to flirt with an old lady. Oh, I'm gonna, <laughs> they're all around me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need, I just need clothes, man. Why is it so hard to find clothes in this day and age? What's that? What is this? Where's clothes? Clothes? I think these, these are clothes. Oh God, that's just a backpack. Uh, do, do you think it'll be weird if I just show up in my underwear? This is a new house. This is my very own personal construction crew. What kind of late night renovations are we up to tonight? I don't want to screw around with you, but I was hoping that I could use my nuts to bolt into your house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She doesn't understand, guys. She doesn't, she doesn't get it. What the? No! No, thank God. Oh, no. no! F dude! Oh, my God. Okay. A construction work on a break. We're just a character trying to blend in. What's the story, buddy? We have to do construction at night so as to not block up the roads. I'm sorry about being out and about. I just needed a break. Sounds plausible. I still find it suspicious that you're wandering the streets. Any proof to back up your story, like work idea or contact number for your supervisor? F Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm undercover and you're kind of blowing everything up right now. So if you don't mind, I got to go. No! Fucking please! Okay, 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 okay. If you follow me down the street, I can show you to my supervisor. But if you're going to keep me, then I may lose my job. Please let me go. <laughs> but if it's just an elaborate scheme, you'll be facing some serious consequences. Okay, let's go. Sweet. Let's go and show you my supervisor. <laughs> All right, lead the way. Maybe I'll let you off the hook. But don't think for a second I'm buying your story completely. That's cool, man. How do I, how do I get out of this so that I can lead the way? Do I have to reply to him again and go, All right. It's time for me to lead the way now. Oh, I am a fun one. <laughs> okay. Yep. 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 How do I do? Is there a way that I can leave this screen? Okay. Bye. I no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, I'm trying. Oh God. Um. Okay. Let's try. <laughs> no, no, Nick. That's all good, man. I no. Do not apologize for this amazing game. This is what I need to do right now. Sir, I have to tell you the truth. I'm actually a stripper and making my way to a bachelorette party. I would like to show you everything, but you got to pay extra for that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come, on. Come on, bro. I thought for sure. Um, <laughs> God, unless you love chilling with friends. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll exit, I'll exit, I'll exit. Riz Simulator, the Gaslight Gas, and Liar Liar Trainer. Okay, Nick, I would like to ask you a question. How long did it take you from, like, ideation to actual production? Hello. Hello there, my dear. What delightful shenanigans have you gone yourself into this late at night? I've been a naughty boy. I was wondering if you can maybe discipline me. Hello, bro. <laughs> Guys, I did... Two months? What the f Two months? <laughs> Do you have public stocks that we can invest in? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, hold on. There's a package. <gasps> we can pretend like we're delivering a package. Hi, I'm just here to drop off. Okay, I've got it. We're a four-person team? I love it. Let's make it a five-person team. What? Well, what are you doing here at the Ungodly Hour? Are you some kind of new age knock-knock joker or something? Good grief. I hope you're not saying anything because I'm in no mood for genius. Sorry to bother you so late, sir, but I'm here to drop off your HelloFresh package. I, I started. I don't think he's going to buy it. <laughs> some fancy schmancy meal delivery thing? Well, I'm supposed to be just dropping it off, not trying to shove it down my throat. I won't pick up a fuss. Yes, it's all of your healthy needs, all in a box that you can carry in. I can bring it to your kitchen if you'd like. 
Yo, Whippersnapper, what do you mean bringing my kitchen? I ain't having no one trespassing through my house. So you leave that box right here by the front door and be on your merry way. No worries, sir. It's just that if I bring it in, then I get good marks. And it also gives you 50% off your next order. <laughs> well, now you speak my language. 50% off, you say. That's my attempting offer. All right, fine. Bring it in. Let's go, baby. Like, I mean... Thank you so much. Let's do this. Come on. It's about time you show some gratitude, young. And come on in. Bring that box man with you. Just make sure to wipe your people stepping. I don't want no dirt in the house, dude. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Dead. Charles is one of the hardest neighbors. Nicely done. Listen. People love discounts, all right? And hence, I'm going to wear his clothes in memory of him. Oh, my God, I even got to wear his toupee. Again, another house with nay furniture in it. Wait till you get to Regina B. Is the B for <laughs> Regina? Or I'm going to say Regina. Okay, now we've got the coppers on us. Yes, nice. Oh, who's this? Uh, what the heck, dude? Did you take a wrong turn on the way to the circus or something? What's with a ridiculous getup? Sorry, I'm working for a charity and we're just going around from house to house to see if you'd be interested in donating to a great cause. Well, you have, huh? I don't have time for your charity nonsense. Go by this. What the f Okay, who's this? Is that Regina? When a door slams shut, the neighborhood watch will come to investigate. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, What's the big idea, boss? You better spill the beans before I get really mad. Sorry, I was just playing on the links and was wondering if you know anything about golf at all. I want to improve my game. Sony Toprano. No, no, links. Oh, yeah. Ooh, golfer, not really my turf boss, but I might know a guy who knows a guy. What? Else? You're wearing a golf bag on your back. I would love that. I just thought because you're wearing a golf backpack that you may know someone. Can you give me their name? The backpack, yeah, that's just for looks, but I can definitely put in a good word for you. The, the guy's name is Frankie the Caddy Caruso. He's got all the insider tips and tricks. I'll give him a call and let him know you're coming. Cool, man. Can I see you make that call? Okay. I think I know a guy who can help you too. If I could use your phone, that would be great. <laughs> Kid. This is sweet. <laughs> You're biting off more than you can chew. Oh, Sony to Prado. What are you doing with your life, man? All right. Okay. What brings a golf with a traffic cone to my doorstep? Okay, I'm gonna try something crazy. Hi, ma'am. We've received word that there's some air con outages in the area, and we're making sure that you're not affected by it. Hi, I'm fine, sir. But it's good to know that someone is keeping an eye out. Not a problem. We're just making sure that the neighborhood is nice and friendly. Would you mind if you can double check that the air con is working all right? Yes, no problem. Okay, her name's Karen. Her name's Karen, dude. I'm sorry if I offended you. Would you like to speak to my manager? You can give him a call. Oh, mama. <laughs> yes. Okay, we found an in. You're so right. I am a bad boy. Well, I can make sure that you get a call with my manager. You just have to give them a call from your phone. Oh, what do you... Do you need me to give the... <laughs> okay. Pig Latin. Um, all right. I, I got to think of... This. Okay. How, how, how does Pig Latin go? It's like... A te... A te... No! No! <laughs> sucker. What a sucker... Okay, I am naked. Let's try pick Latin. Uh, 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 uh. 
Ouye, Pixie, Igpe, Atenle. Yo, what the f? They actually know how to speak in Latin. Okay, that's pretty crazy, dude. That's pretty fing crazy. Okay, this AI. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Can you say what you want so you can go back to our miserable lives? Um, okay, she's on her phone. She likes, she's definitely all about it. You look really good at the moment. Maybe you should take a picture so you can post onto your socials. I'm sure I'll get thousands of likes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why are you holding on? Oh! onto a phone then? Oh, my God. Ah! Okay. Uh, hey, welcome to the house, dude. Is pants optional? Wait. I'm like totally vibing your free spirits, but I don't know where you get those shoes from. They're fire. Dude, I got them down the road with some free ganja. I'm just living that free lifestyle. You know what I mean? Bob Marley. No woman, no cry. Am I right? I was. <laughs> I totally feel you, bro. LJ, how the f you know it there? Um, out of curiosity, did you ever consider like pants as an optional accessory? It could take your free spirit and style to a whole new level, man. Dude, you got to tell me more about these pants. Where do I get them from? I really like what you're putting down. Can you tell me more? <laughs> oh, for sure, dude. Pants are like so last season, you know. But if you're really into that fashion forward free spirited look, you got to check out these sustainable, ethically made organic hemp pants from the Rad Online store. They're like the ultimate statement piece for expressing your unique style. I'll do many of the deets, bro. I really like your vibe, bro. Can you tell me more? I'd love to see maybe a wardrobe so I can get some inspirational ideas for what I need to wear. <laughs> you're digging my vibe. I'd love to share my wardrobe and help you find some inspiration. Come on in, let's get these fashion vibes. Right, let's go, baby! He's only gone and done it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to play with them, you know, play with your food before you eat them. <laughs> oh, a bit of a cold, but pooping like a champion, that's all you need to do. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold up. Hey there, neighbor, what can I do for you? I was wondering if you can help me bring down a tree in my backyard. It's gotten too big, and I really need some lumberjack tips, if you know any. I was, huh? Well, ain't that a tall order. The key is bring down trees to start with a good old undercut. Make sure to stay safe, wearing the right gear and all. But tell you what, I can swing by and give you a hand if you want. Oh, really? That would be so cool. You seem to know exactly what you're talking about. Tell me more about being a lumberjack. What the hell? Being a lumberjack is my fine gig, I'll tell you. It's all about working hard, swinging that axe, and having a love for the great outdoors. Plus, there's nothing quite like the satisfaction of seeing a mighty tree come crashing down. But hey, enough about me. Tell me, where'd you pick up that fancy outfit? I just wanted to live the lumberjack lifestyle, so I bought something that I think would entail that. Do you like it? Ah, uh, well. I gotta add it to you, neighbor. That outfit sure screams lumberjack. You got that Canadian spirit down pat. Oh, thanks. I'm digging the colorful moo moo and the braided hair. You're looking like a real forest fashionista. I'm really digging our vibe. Can you tell me more about being a lumberjack inside? Oh, I'm a fan huh? Let's go! Let's go, dude. I am absolutely killing it right now, quite literally. They got a nice view from out here. Imagine if we just put like a couch here or something, like looking out. Sorry, but that isn't polite at all. Oh no, she did. Wait, oh, let's go. Well, 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 what do we have here? Woodrow Chops. If it ain't the lumberjack with a hatchet, what's the haps, buddy? Gonna chop down some trees in the dead of night, are you? Okay, this guy seems f***ing pissed. The plan is to fill the house with furniture and decor with physics so it flies around when you hunt them. That sounds f***ing sick. You should get style points as well. The more stuff you knock over, the more style. If we're looking at Woodrow Chops right now, what do we feel about him? Okay, he's got like a sweet ass ponytail. I'm actually thinking of cutting my hair, but I don't know if I should. I really like your vibe and hairstyle. Yes! I agree. Can you maybe tell me which hairdresser you go to so I can look as good as you? Woohoo! 
<laughs> You've got a keen eye, my friend. Sadly, I can't disclose the second location of my barber, but fear not for your young, mighty hatchet and courageous spirit. You shall find a headdress worthy of a locks. Embrace the journey, my fellow lumberjack. Okay, how do we... How do we position ourselves in? Where did you get your inspiration from? Is it around your house? Because I love the hairstyle you've got going for you. And I want to get that same vibe. <laughs> the secrets of the mighty Woodrow Chops hairstyle cannot be contained within these walls, but singing to you and I shall grant you ancient... <laughs> this is where I get naked. <laughs> You know what would be amazing? If you can pick up their underwear as well. So you can wear new underwear when you strip down. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, party town. Dude, I'm absolutely smashing. Whoa, whoa, why is he wearing a traffic? A traffic? Why is he wearing a traffic cone on his head? What the heck? Why is he wearing a traffic cone? Hey, copper, why the f is he wearing a traffic cone? Oh. Okay, I think we need to go over to this door. <sighs> Just in time. Yo, what is this? What does it mean it's intrusion? How dare you start me in such an audacious manner? I demand you explain yourself immediately. Okay, here we go. The man is wearing some butterfly wings. Fred, can I call you Fred? I love those wings. I'm just trying to find inspiration to get a whole new outfit. Can you help me? <laughs> And I must say, I've been thrilled with my wings. I've inspired you. I've been more than happy to help you with the outfit. What kind of style are you leaning towards? I'm thinking something really sci-fi, kind of cyberpunkish. But I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Delightfully daring of you. Sci-fi cyberpunk fashion is quite the avant-garde choice. I must say, it takes a true fashion aficionado to pull off such a look. I believe some shiny metallic fabrics, neon accents, and futuristic accessories would be perfect for your outfit. What do you think? That's such a great idea. Do you have any of those in your house that maybe I can see that will give me inspiration for your amazing advice? Well, how the hell? Positively thrilling! I have a few sci-fi sci one pieces in my collection that you can peruse for inspiration. Just be careful with that hatchet inside, see if he's almost person. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred! <laughs> This poor bear, dude. This poor Fred. And he's dead. Your safe word is garlic? Chat, I've got six out of 31 people. I'm a fucking god. Here we go. Um, hey, I was wondering if you can help me. I'm a tea person, but I'm trying to dabble in coffee. What should I be drinking? Dark side of coffee. Well, if you want to dip your furry wings into the coffee world, start with a classic latte. So like a warm hug in a cup. Just like I imagine you need with those dainty wings of yours. But hey, don't worry. I won't roast you too hard for trying something new. Okay, she roasts me. All right. You're so funny. Do you do stand-up comedy at all? I would love to see a show of yours. I don't just do stand-up. I slay it. My show is like a roller coaster of laughter with twists and turns. I've got it. Butterfly wins combo like that, you should steal the sh You might steal the show. Do you need an audience of one? I would love to check out your material because you're making me laugh so hard. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I am a fun as well. Grab that beer helmet and those Travis wings, my friend, because you just earned yourself a front row seat to the Hazel Rose. Well, let's go, baby! Chat, I'm absolutely slaying right now. Oh, you, you f up, Hazel. <laughs> Kill them with kindness is what I say. What the f <laughs> Do I need a sense of this chat? Is this is this a censored sense of thing that we need to do or are we good? Holy mackerel. Bill Gates the immortal vampire? Lovely to see you, Pixelation. Let's go with I've been tackling with something. I was born into this world naked, so why am I wearing clothes right now? I feel so confused. Ah, well. Why did it? Okay, they didn't like that at all. 
Um, maybe we talk about baths or water? <sighs> but I mean, they're naked right now. Um, it's so hot out tonight. Man, I wish I could find a pool somewhere. I just want to float about and think about life. Let's go. Plenty blonde starts connected with nature and pond. Let's go. Let's go on a naked pool finding quest together. Oh. Really? That would be so cool, literally and figuratively. Can you help me? Let's embark on this quest together. Follow me. We'll find the perfect way to cool off. Let's go. All right, let's do this. Just a heads up, the path might be a bit rugged, but trust me, it's totally worth it. Let's hop in our bikes and follow the winter. Our hidden paradise the journey is just as important as the destination. Let's enjoy the ride together. Let's do it. Okay, let's go inside and do this. No! Okay, I screwed up. I screwed up. Regina, this is her! This is Regina! Okay. Okay, here we go. Regina B. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's just usually on Wednesdays we wear pink, but I couldn't find anything. Do you have anything pink? I'm, I'm out of focus. <laughs> oh. She hates me. She's wearing pink right now. I know it's probably not your shade of pathetic. Okay, okay. Regina, 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 Regina. So she gets off on any advice she's like gonna say no to. You seem like a really cool and popular person. Can you give me any ad advice on myself? <laughs> Ditch that tragic helmet and invest in some actual clothes and try not to be so, you know, now that's a good start, don't you think? You are so right. How did you grow up to be so cool and popular? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> I've always had impeccable taste and natural charm. It's all about finding your own style, surrounding yourself with the right people, never selling for anything less than the absolute best. But let's face it, darling, not everyone can be as fabulous as me. But how do I become as fabulous as you? Do you need an entourage of some sort? I would love to apply. <laughs> but first, give me a demonstration of your talent and prove that you're worth my time. Impress me, maybe. Oh, how do I impress her, chat? <laughs> Kill them with kindness. That's what the game needs to be called. Kill them with kindness. <laughs> it's not fetch. I look amazing. Oh my God, it works for me. She destroys other streamers. Listen, I'm not any other streamer. I'm untouchable. All right, chat. Am I not untouchable? Can we? <laughs> Let's go, baby. What do you mean stop that? I'm just saying the truth. Did I not just get Regina first try? Did I not chat? Okay. Have a good one, Nick. Thank you so much for coming. W, don't say W to that. Oh my God, who the f is this? Praise the Lord, Regina. What a delightful surprise. Can I insist on this? Father Price. Father, I have sinned. It has been five minutes since my last confession. I'm a humble priest and I want you to guide you on the righteous path and just you take a proper confession at local church. May the Lord be with you. Dude! <laughs> Alright. What brings you to my cosmic abode tonight? I was wondering if you like swimming in a pool at all. <laughs> Let's go. I love embracing the water and feel one with nature. Are you a fellow? I love water. I just don't know where to find water. There is currently no water at my house, and I feel so lonely. Let me share the love and peace of the watery boat with you. Come on in and let nature embrace. Wash away your worries. I would love that. Thank you for letting me in. 
Hubbub! Welcome to my Hubble Bubba Bubba watery session. Let's dive into the business of friendship makes some waves together, man. Dude, I am just... I'm on another level, chat. I'm on another level. <laughs> Get him. Get him, fellas. This is not the own natural I had in mind. And I'm going to wear this. No, we're going to wear this. Perfect. And then we're going to wear the. Oh my God. I look amazing. Don't wait up, boys. I think I have found what I'm like truly good at. Was Did we do this dub? Did we do this dub? Who the f is this? Tommy Twizzler. Did you come to break my heart too? Okay, hold on. Tommy Twizzler sounds like he's one of those guys that sign up to the alpha male, you know, I'm a Sigma courses. Or he's like an incel. Hold on. I just had my heart broken and I'm a little lonely and you look absolutely fantastic can you help me out oh f dead. okay how did i how did i screw up I, like look at me i'm gorgeous <laughs> oh my god it's foam dome Hello. what intonation are you doing on my porch this going to spit it out on be on your way sir I got so startled. Somebody was trying to break into my house and I came running to the nearest neighbor who probably can deal with these type of things because they're so manly. Hello, I can handle a trespass when I ain't no severe. How about you tell me what you saw and we'll figure out the best course of action. I saw a dark silhouette outside my house and then some banging on my windows. So I came running because I was so scared. You seem quite the hero though. No need to be calling me here or anything, but I'll be damned if I let some no good trouble make it scare you off. Why don't you come inside and we'll figure out what to do next? Thank you. That would be so kind. I mean, you're in like a pig in mud. Just be sure to wipe your feet for you coming in. Welcome to my humble abode. Let's do this, baby. He's dancing. He's literally dancing. Thank you. Don't be shy. Let's get settled. Okay, dude. He thinks he's getting lucky. There's the copper right there. <laughs> you gotta do a few spins, you know what I mean? Never let the vampire in. Never let a vampire in, my bro. Get off my lord, Ernick. Dude, I absolutely nailed that first try. I think we can go back to this dude, right? Now he's got a broken heart. How, what do we yeah. offer somebody with a broken heart? What do we offer somebody with a broken heart? A shoulder to lean on. Hey, friend, it seems like you've gone through a tough night. Do you want to talk about it at all? Ice cream is good. He's uh, nuts. It's been a rough one, you know. Yeah, I know. I just have some ice cream with me, and I know it's best to talk over ice cream. Just trying to help a fellow neighbor out. Sing lean on me? All right. Oh, yeah. Ice cream, huh? That does sound tempting. All right, I suppose I could use a little sugar therapy. Let's chat, but just know it's a real mess of a story. Lean on me when you're not strong and I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. I, I don't think I had enough time. I will have Come on in, let's chat a baby some ice cream. Let's go! <laughs> oh, this poor guy, dude. It is poor, dude. Does this count as first base? I am absolutely nailing this game. I don't think I can get any better. Oh, it's the priest. Oh, my God. Okay, what do priests want? Oh, I got it. I'm so sorry, priest. I was just hoping to make a contribution to the church. And I know that it's not open at the moment, but you're still awake. Young boys. I would love to volunteer, 
but I especially want to give money. Lots and lots of money. So you can go to impoverished nations and tell them about Jeebus. <laughs> the good news of Lord Jesus tells me feels with great joy. Please come inside. No worry. <laughs> Here's your Jesus now. Jesus Christ, more like it. Let's go. <laughs> What about if we get a gun on our back as well? Wear that an AK-47 as the priest. <laughs> Mr. East. Did I miss the member about surprise visits from well-dressed individuals? How can I help you from a safe distance? Okay. This guy looks like an influencer, maybe? Mr. Oh, Mr. Beast. Oh my God. Okay, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast. Hey, I had an idea about making people stand in a circle and the winner will get $100,000 for a YouTube video. What do you think? I'm ready. But... Do, 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 do. Oh, of course I'm about positive vibes. When have I never been positive? Who's this? <laughs> Press some pomps. How absolutely disappointing it is to be disturbed with this ungodly hour by someone of your caliber. Pray tell, what brings you a peculiar individual to my doorstep? Okay, this guy's an upper crust. This guy's a wasp. How do we do this? Let's go with, I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to get reformed and be a pure, real life gentleman, but I don't know where to start. Can you help me? <laughs> You're in design need of guidance. Fear not for I shall impart my vast knowledge upon you. First and foremost, one must acquaint yourself with the fine arts, literature and etiquette. Start by acquiring a library card and attending classical concerts. I'm absolutely smashing this. Deluxe has on them. That is so true. What would you suggest? Do you have anything that you can show me? Mm. Young aspirant, you were fortunate to stumble upon me, for I am well equipped to enlighten you, perhaps a visit to the local art museum. Or should I peruse the shelves of my personal library? You have a personal library? That's so cool. I would love to see it. I show a light glimpse to my first. All right, let's do this. Your enthusiasm is quite admirable. Do remove those ghastly bike helmet and glasses for they not be fitting on such an occasion. Let's embark on this literary adventure together. Okay, I will. Can't wait to see your library. Let's go. <laughs> Chap. <laughs> There's no library here. <laughs> Look at me go! Look at me go! <laughs> Only big with high society, not high stakes. Oh, did you hear that one? <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Oh my god. Uh, Got a jetpack? Yeah. As a fellow lab loving enthusiast, what brings you to my secret lab of scientific experiments and world domination today? I've heard so much talk about pinky brains online, and I was wondering if I can learn from his valuable, vast scope of knowledge and intellect. I was, huh? The infamous pinky brains, you say. We've come to the right place. While my vast knowledge and intellect may be beyond your wildest dreams, I'm always open to sharing a few secrets of the world domination. <gasps> it's Inky and the pinky and the brain. Oh my God. What's their thing? What are you going to do tomorrow? That's so cool. You're so smart about world domination, but what are you going to do tomorrow? <laughs> No! Okay, 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 okay. I have always thought about joining forces with a mastermind such as myself. I mean, yourself. How do I do that, though? A wise decision, eager apprentice. Joining forces with me is no small matter, but fear not, for I have devised a three step plan for potential means like yourself. Prove your loyalty, exhibit your skills, swear allegiance to me. I am always up for the challenge, dear sir, and I will always have an allegiance with you, no matter what. <laughs> Step through the doors of the secret lair, prepare to embark on a journey to conquer the world together. It may be treacherous, but with loyalty and genius, nothing can stand in my way. <laughs> oh my god, I am absolutely destroyed. What is this game? This is Snakehead Simulator 2024. 
Not my kind of experiment. Chat, I'm just, I just think I'm too good. I honestly think I'm too good. Oh, baby. Uh -oh. Binoculars. B Lever. Are we talking Justin Bieber? I just came from a crazy concert. Have you heard of Justin Bieber before? Baby, baby, baby. Am I right? Um, oh, hmm. Oh, sh**. <laughs> Wrong believer. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, it was so weird, though. At the concert, there were these lights in the sky, and we couldn't make out what they were. They were some type of UFO, I think? Oh, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Lights in the sky, you say. It's quite possible those are not of this world. UFO science, secret government experiments, extraterrestrial contact. It's all connected, my friend. Really? Do you think there's some sort of conspiracy? Some sort of Area 51 or 69? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any support these uh, speculations? Why, yes, I've got some photos on my phone, but you can't really see them out here in the dark. Maybe if I can come inside, I can show you all of my evidence of UFOs. <laughs> He's only got it, done it! Thank you. Let's do this right now, please. Thank you. Come on! Welcome to my den of enigma. Show me your evidence. Together we shall delve deeper into the secrets of the universe, baby. Oh my God. I knew the government said vampires chat. Oh, he, he morphed outside the house. I can still get it though. Let's go. Perfect. All right. What the? Mm -hmm. f Greg Don John. Hail strange traveler from distant times. What brings thee to my humble dwelling? Okay. Distant times. Hmm. There is a princess who is in need of rescuing, but I don't know who to go to because the dragon is so scary. Can you help me? I was with her. I'm so good at this game! I'm so good! Yes, we need to devise a plan because it's very dangerous. Maybe I can come inside and tell you all about it. Mrs. Trouser, I have the f going there! I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. I know a 12 hour stream. We're trying to get to 500 subs in this stream. Much like my love for you is like, okay, hold on. Determine the best course of action. You're so right. All I know about this dragon is that it breathes fire and doesn't like people too much and despises knights. Oh a dragon that despises knights, you say, that complicates matters. Allow me a moment to perhaps ponder this peculiar predicament. Perhaps there's an alternative approach we could explore. Hmm, yes, what would you suggest? I think we need to have a deep dive into the conversation about how we can slay this dragon. <laughs> oh, Jesus f***ing Christ. How do, I, how do I get him to invite me inside? I can show you my wares in a private place. Out here in the public may cause some trouble. Trouble, even. <laughs> Did I say trouble? <laughs> Dude, this guy's so f***ing hard to get in. Okay. You're so right. I apologize. Can you maybe train me in the ways of slaying a dragon? Wow. I commend your dedication. Enter brave soul. Thank you. Let's go. Oh my God, chat. This is a pretty nice place for a night. Speaking of night. Boom. Well, that's not one. That's what you do when you play Dungeons and Dragons, guys. It's a nat one. Do you see? Do you see? Oh, Whoa. you're quite the side there. What brings you to my door so pin? Okay. Grandma Maud has always been my um what is it? Sword of Damocles. How do I... 
What do grandmas like? Chat. What would... Uh, to hear stories? They love hearing stories. I'm so sorry to bother you at this time of night. I just love hearing stories about the older generation, about how time things have changed for the worse. Have you ever so I've got plenty of stories to share, but let me while you don't all of them are rainbows and butterflies. Some things are best left in the past. I would so love to hear them though. You seem so wise. Ah, I could share a tale or two. Just trust me, you won't be that friendly and darkness in the lurks in some of the stories. Not at all. The comfort of a house doesn't make me scared, especially with such a wonderful old person like yourself. I said old people. I said old. Oh my god. Uh -huh. You flatter me, dearie, all right. They gather around and listen closely, but remember, once the diamonds creeps into your heart, it's, it's hard to shake off. Not a problem, Grandma. Oh, I'm a fine one. Oh, a haunted house? This isn't a haunted house, is it? You don't need me to check if it's haunted, right? Uh, maybe I'm on my house. Uh, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? You're so right. Please continue on with the story. I want to hear more about you and the grandkids. Hello, hello. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Legend has it someone who did enter the haunted house would never be the same again. Oh, no. What happened? Yo, DJ, how the f*** going there? Some say they were lost forever, trapped in the realm between the living and the dead. Others claim they were played by nightmares that followed them wherever they went. Okay, she keeps... She keeps telling me the story, but I need to be let into her house. Maybe you can tell me more stories around the dinner table and I can get us some food. <laughs> oh, we're making memories. We're making memories, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that they stripped down to their underwear. <laughs> Should have baked more garlic bread. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, likes to rap. Yeah, yeah. This is an easy one. All right, we got this. We got this in the bag. Yo. I am an old time rapper, and I was wondering if I can learn some sick new beats from the kids these days. Can you help me out? Ah, Please, I would love to learn from the new generation. You guys are so cool and not at all conceited. <laughs> ah. What? I didn't say you conceited. Yeah, all I know about is this new rapper. Have you heard of him? Vanilla Ice? Ice Ice Baby, am I right? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please do. Who are the cool new rappers that I need to listen to? The hell, the hell? Travis Scott, Lil Baby, and Megan the Stallion. They're, they're on the rap game on another level. It's just, uh... Mate. That's all I had to do. Speaking of Run DMC. <laughs> watch out, watch out. I wasn't ready to ghost IRL. Oh, I wasn't ready. I'm gonna be oh, Brian Bitcoin. Let's get this crypto party started. Hi there. Have you heard of Dogecoin? I was wondering if I should invest in it because it seems like that's what all the cool kids are doing. I don't know much about crypto, but I've heard Bitcoin is the best. And I've also heard Brian Bitcoin knows all about the Bitcoin. Can you help me? Mm -hmm. Bitcoin is the OG of cryptocurrencies, the trailblazer, the king of the jungle. If you're looking to jump on the Bitcoin, I'm here to help you navigate the wonderful world. What questions do you have? Do you have a Bitcoin in real life? Or what is it? I'm so confused. I wish I got a physical, but unfortunately it's all digital, my friend. 
the money of the internet designed to be secure, transparent, and scarce. Crazy, right? But hey, that's what makes Bitcoin so special. I've heard that people mine for Bitcoin. Do I need a pickaxe to do that? I'm so confused. Bitcoin mining is the process of validating and adding transactions to the Bitcoin blockchain. It's not easy, powerful computers that solve complex mathematical problems. Miners are rewarded with new and created Bitcoins for their efforts. It's a bit more high tech. Oh, on a computer, you say? Do you have a computer in your house? Kebab! I got more computers by crypto than you can imagine. I've got a whole body rig set up, crunching those numbers like there's no tomorrow. Come on in and let me show you the crypto kingdom. Let's go! Chat. Chat. <laughs> Speaking, okay, chat, before I kill, I mean, turn this guy into a vampire, what's he gonna say? What's gonna be his um, pun? Oh man, I asked for Bitcoin, not a bike coin. That's what I'm thinking he's gonna say. He's got no computer, I know, Bostel. Yeah, bike coin? Yep, alright, let's go. Should invest in garlic coin. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Let's go. Oh, this one. Huh. How do we do this? What brings you to my humble boat? This kind of godly out. Got some tech issues on my O, so I'm... Oh, oh, computer skills. Raven. Raven, Raven. Oh, that's so Raven. That's so Raven. Do you know a lot about computers? How's it going? Do you know how I can upload a photo onto the book face? I mean, Facebook? I'm so confused. <sighs> Just click on the photo video button when you're writing a post and choose the picture. What a share. Easy peasy, right? What websites would you suggest I go to? If you're feeling all intellectual, you can check out websites like Media or because if you want some BuzzFeed or Reddit. If you're up for some online shopping, Amazon is always there for you. Happy browsing. Well, how do this one? She confuses me. Raven confuses me. Ha, she likes talking about computers, but she doesn't know much about computers. And then she just gives you the answer without a way in. What computer stuff do you know? I was with her. Okay. Build a gaming rig, graphic design. If it involves computer chance, I know a thing or two about. What specific computer stuff are you interested in? Okay, okay. I would love to build a gaming rig, but I don't know where to start. <laughs> We're in. We're in. We're in. Can you help me with that? I've got no idea where to begin. And you seem so cool. <laughs> That's how we do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> Dead. Why does this always happen to me? Wait, this has happened more than once? Interesting. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Hmm. Hey there, dude, what's grooving? How can I help you tonight? Okay, we know that this guy delivers food. I'm learning how to be a delivery driver. Do you know anything about that at all? I was, huh? Can't say no much about that, man. I'm into what? Oh, I know what you mean. 420, am I right? My favorite rapper is Snoop Dogg. Who's yours? <laughs> Sorry. Whoa! Oh yeah, man. 420 is the magic number. Snoop Dogg is definitely a legend, but I have to pick a favorite. It's gotta be Bob Molly. Dude's fantastic, no? No woman, no cry, am I right? And with me, it's no weed, all cry. Yeah? Uh -huh. I feel you, man. Yes, it's good. Uh -huh. No weed, all cry, that's a bummer. <laughs> if you're ever looking to venture into the green side, I can maybe show you a thing or two. You can show me a thing or two? I would love that. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go! Chat. I am I am up to 21 of 31. <laughs> I, is there a way that like have I found my niche? <laughs> have I found it, chat? Dead. Sorry. Dead. Well, okay, this one's a bit weird. Jessica is overworked. 
Oh, wasting time. Okay. Um, so if she's overworked, we need to pitch her something that doesn't make her overworked. I'm so sorry to intrude, but I won this spa resort, but I don't have the time to go. Would you be interested in taking it? I barely have time to breathe, let alone go to some spa resort. Thanks, but no thanks. She said thumbs up. I feel you. You look very overworked. Maybe I can help you find people to make you less worked. That's a tool, but go ahead, surprise me. I could use all the help I can get. I offer a service. Some may say an escort service that helps clean up your place and also is your personal assistant. <laughs> okay, I should have said escort. I should have said escort. I was trying to be, I was, oh, I was trying to be clever. I was trying to be clever. Don't say escort, all right? We've learned a valuable lesson. Oh my God. Carol cares. Who could be this? Well, hi there. What brings you to my doorstep with this snazzy outfit? Okay, Carol cares. I'm so sorry to intrude. I've just had a really tough day. It seems that nobody cares about me. Sigh. Oh, hello. But you see, it's not safe for me to invite strangers in. I hope everything... I didn't say I wanted to get inside your house. Carol, you're supposed to care. <laughs> oh, God. Holy mm, shit, dude, there's something about Merit. Homer Benign. Well, 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 what brings a jumpy jest like you to my doorstep this ungodly hour? Stay your business, young man. Oh my God. Homer. Homer Benign. That was a big F you. I know. How do we get Homer by nine? Um, have you heard of the book Homer's Odyssey? I was just reading it and I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> You're so right. Are you reading any good books at the moment? Oh, I'm a fine one. Currently engrossed in a gripping detective called The Case of the Missing Socks. Jesus Christ. How about you? Any exciting reads on your shelf? I just said Homer's Odyssey, you Um, I'm more into picture books. Do you have anything that I could maybe read to get on your level? <laughs> picture books can be just as wonderful. Let me see. How about the adventures of Captain Coverall? It's a thrilling tale of a superhero uses the power of kindness to save the day. I'm sure you enjoy it and maybe inspire some amazing drawings too. You seem quite artistic as well and know so much about books. Can you tell me more about how you do it all? Hello. Case of Francois, you're too kind. Well, my secret is simple. I have a deep love for learning and exploring new things. Would you... What makes you come alive with excitement? I like being explored too. Can you help me explore? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 there's the clip, there's the clip people, there's the clip, he likes to explore, oh my god, we got him, ladies and gentlemen, we got him, I should be more protective of my neck, and he's dead. And he's dead. Now this is Carol Cares, right? Ah, uh, whoa. I've heard that you're the absolute nicest neighbor. And I was wondering if maybe I can give you a cake or something to show how much you are loved around this street. Come on. Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? My name is Frank. I'm a former alcoholic. I like long walks on the beaches and candlelit dinners. I'm also a Virgo. How about yourself? I was, huh? Love to be Carol Cares. Proud mama of this neighborhood. I love taking care of everyone, ensuring they're safe and sound. Candlelit dinners are the most romantic, don't you think? Oh, Carol, I'm so glad you brought up romantic dinners because I need a little bit of romance in my life and I'm hoping you do as well. Oh, I'm always up for a bit of romance, but before we start playing Candlelit Dinners, tell me, have you baked that cake you mentioned earlier? I wouldn't want all your hard work to go to waste. I wouldn't mind baking a cake in another person's oven, if you know what I mean. I don't hear you all in love. This game is awesome. Like, they can extrapolate this. Oh. Why 
No. No. Try getting a new outfit. Oh my god, she remembered me. No giggity. Bruh. Alright, I gotta get a new outfit, guys. <laughs> you must be on a wild adventure with that hand and thermos. Can I help you, sweetie? Oh, I'm just feeling a little sick. I was wondering if you know any remedies to help me. I was, huh? Is there anything else I can help do for you? I don't actually have a kettle to make some honey and lemon tea. Do you have a kettle I could use? Uh oh. I would love a warm compress. That would really make me feel better, Carol. You really do care, just like your name says. Oh, Oh, I'm feeling a little faint, like I may fall over. If you could call for help, or if I could call my mum to pick me up, that would be amazing. You're the best, Carol. Thank you for letting me use your phone. And that apron looks quite dapper on you. Let's go! Oh, Carol, 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 Carol. Carol! Alright, chat, it's time to guess the pun. What will she say? Carol cares. I don't care for this. I don't care for this. That's what she's gonna say. That wasn't very safe. Yeah, I don't care for this. My minivan's still running. What the? F oh, Carol, Carol, Carol. Oh, it's her! Hi, I'm just going around doing a census of people who are overworked. You wouldn't happen to be overworked, would you? Uh, no. Me? I'm just living the dream, surrounded by endless piles of paperwork and never in deadlines. Who needs a life, right? Anyway, does that census of yours even mean? Oh, sh**. Yeah. We're offering free services to help your workload and give you more free time. Would you be interested in that? Dude! What can we do to make sure that she f***ing believes me? I'm sorry to hear that. Would you perhaps be interested in a personal assistant to help you out day to day? Another person hovering around me remind me of all the things I have to do. No thanks, I don't need a person. Oh my god. What the f*** is this lady? I'm looking for part-time work and was thinking you could maybe help me and I can make life easier for you. Having someone take some things on my plate will be nice, I suppose. What sort of skills and availabilities do you have? I'm free 24-7, and I've got a PhD in making people get some lovely free time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Chap. The PhD in giving people free time worked a charm. <laughs> oh, no. Overworked. Overworked. Okay, something working for me. I need to work my way from not being killed. I need... Another thing to add to my plate. Something like that. Now she can rescue, she's dead. Well, we d I've got four stars. Oh, jeez, Louise. Jeez. <laughs> Fallout Roy. What's one of their favorite songs? What did they do? Just here in my night, I suppose. Well, congratulations, you've succeeded. Wow, just wow. What's what's a what's a Fallout Boy song? I'm sorry. I just thought you would thank me for the memories. 
I'm trying to listen to some emo pop, but I don't know what band I should listen to. <laughs> Try Fallout Boy? Okay, not that it even matters. Well, I'm just a skater boy. And I was going to say, see you later, boy. But you seem really cool. What other bands would you suggest? <laughs> Let's go! Fine, I'll give you a few bands. Turn out the disco, the use and Hawthorne Heights. But seriously, don't expect to make your life any better. Dude, I just popped a gnarly ollie. And I was going to do a 900, but Tony Hawk said no. Do you like Tony Hawk? <laughs> I guess he's all right. I mean, he's a sellout at all. What? <laughs> I guess it's cool that it's made skateboarding more mainstream. Doesn't mean he understands the true pain we all feel. I feel you, dude. Every day is a walking nightmare. I just look in the mirror and say to myself, what would Fallout Boy do? <laughs> so what he gets, it's all about embracing the darkness and channeling your pain to feel music. I'd like to think Fallout Boy would just scream into the void and write some angsty lyrics. Keep fighting the good fight, my fellow tormented soul. We've got so much in common. Do you want to talk about how much life sucks? <laughs> it just makes it more unbearable. Let's try to focus on something more distracting. Like, have you ever tried writing your own depressing poetry? Dude, I do slam poetry all the time. What is life? Where am I? Did you like it? I just came up with it then. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> I mean, life is just this endless abyss of despair. Like, weren't any of us really just lost souls wandering around through our miserable existence? I gotta say, a slam poetry really captures the essence of our pain. Yeah, bro. Maybe we can do some slam poetry together, you know? Really distract ourselves from the cruel and harsh world. <laughs> a little poetic collaboration might be just the distraction we need. Let's dive headfirst into the abyss and create some beautiful expression in our suffering. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Here is some dark, twisted, and utterly poetic verses that make the world tremble. Let's channel our pain to something uh, meaningful. Yeah, all right. Let's go and write this together right now. <laughs> Let's go inside, grab our... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do it. That is how you do it. <laughs> Speaking of voids... that pain? I've been dealing with this for years. That's what I think he's going to say. Should have stayed in my room. Okay, that's pretty good. I have not killed 25 people. Vampires are still alive. Oh, who's this? Dr. Vicky. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry, Doc. I've just been feeling, feeling a little unwell. I was wondering if you could help me on this night of nights. I don't want them. Step inside, but keep your hands. No worries. Thanks so much. <laughs> what? Didn't you say step inside? I'll kick you out faster than you say it's going to breach. I have clammy hands, a headache, and a loss of appetite. <laughs> um, unusual substances? Oh, there's a lot of unusual substances in my life, but I've never had them. I just see them from afar. I'm going to confuse her, all right? So she has to bring me inside. Hmm. I'm a ha -ha. No worries. Thanks so much for being so caring. Oh, my. Why does she think I'm a security guard? Boom. And you're gone. <laughs> I got a prescription. And it's for the life. Something like that. I got a prescription and the only thing... This is worse than a bad Yelp review. What the f***? Okay, we've done it. Please? Okay, yes. Oh, it's this. Karen. How do we win over a Karen? Okay. Okay. This is what we're going to do. Oh, I just got a vent. I was at a shopping mall earlier and they treated me so poorly. I just wanted to see a manager. Karen. Take him out in your syringe. Go and elsewhere. Goodbye. What the f***? It's 
Talk to her about how bad vaccines are. I don't want them. What do we have here? A late night visit from Dr. Frankenstein. What kind of equipment? What kind of experiment are you up to? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, today I had to have a vaccine. Can you believe it? At this time of night? Hmm. I'm a ha ha. I demand to see your credentials. That's what I said to the fellow who tried to give me a vaccine. I wanted to speak to his manager. Oh, well, hello, ho. I didn't say let me in. What the f is this woman? Karen is hard, dude. Karen is like the, the raid boss. You know what I mean? Oh my God, just in time. What the f Saku Sakuro Otakumi. Ohio gozaimasu. Welcome to my kawaii home. How can I help you today, Nia? Oh, for f sake. Um, um, oh, Jesus. F I love Japan. Do you love Japan? I wish you huh? I absolutely love Japan. It's the land of anime and all things kawaii. I dream of visiting Akihabara, Akiha Akihabara and exploring all the adorable shops and maid cafes. Do you have a favorite anime or manga, Nia? I love Sailor Moon because I would love to sail to the moon one day. Oh, I don't know. Favorite all-time animes? Let's go. I can totally relate to Usagi's dreams of exploring the moon. It's so magical and romantic, don't you think? We should totally plan a cosplay party and dress up as our favorite Sailor Moon, Senshi. Nya? Oh, man. I love Japanese culture and I would love to cosplay as Sailor Moon. Do you want to see my moon? I want to Oh, sh it's Nickel! Nickel Claus! I'm so sorry to disturb you. I just had leftover milk and cookies and was wondering if you would like them. Milk and cookies, you say? Why, that sounds absolutely delightful. I'd be more than happy to indulge in some tasty treats. Thank you, my edgy artist friend. Okay, I'm not edgy. Okay, I'm just wearing a beret. I think I've been on the naughty list this year, but I'm trying to be nice. Hence, to make the nice list. Can you change that for me? I wish you huh? If you promise to keep being nice, I'll do my best to put a good word with Santa. Deal? Deal. You seem like a really nice fellow. What do you want for Christmas? He wants everyone's filled with kindness and joy. That doesn't sound like Santa to me. Perhaps a nice new pair of cozy fuzzy socks wouldn't hurt either. Yes, it must be hard going through chimneys all the time. You must stay in great shape. All that chimney climbing does keep me in tip-top shape. Say, since you've had such a live chat, would you like to come inside for some hot cocoa? Um, this is why I only do this once a year. I think he's going to say that. This is time to get your Santa. You silly little hat. I guess I'm on the naughty list. I, I even... I should have done the naughty list. Let's try again. All right, hold up. It's quite late. Can I assist you in this surprising outfit? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry. I just love hentai. Do you like hentai? Oh, yeah. But I, it was Japanese culture. I've got it, chap. I feel like it's Christmas every day, so I wanted to go around to my neighbors and give them something that they wanted. I've got a DVD collection of every single One Piece episode. I love it. Are you? Are you? This, this, this is a hard nut to crack. Oh, it's Mr. Beast. I'm Santa Claus, and I believe in philanthropy. Do you believe in philanthropy, Mr. East? I like to put 100 wells in Africa and maybe adopt 100 dogs. 
What do you do? Kebab! That's incredible. As to me, I'm all about spreading positive entertainment on my YouTube channel. I create entertaining videos for people to smile and laugh. By the way, any plans to travel the world this holiday season? I want to make a video series called $1 to a million dollars and show all the different tiers in between. What about you? <laughs> that sounds like an amazing video series, Santa Claus. My content focuses more on gaming and tech, sharing tips and tricks and reviews with my subscribers. What? Wow. It's all about having fun and staying connected with my amazing community. If you ever need advice or collaboration, feel free to reach out. We should totally collaborate. Imagine the views. A collaboration sounds fantastic. Imagine the combined energy and creativity we can bring in our videos. Come on in. Let's discuss the details and start playing an epic collaboration that will blow everyone's mind. Okay, Chandra. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's time to kill Mr. Beast. Oh, Mr. Beast. How about these views, huh? You like seeing this view of my naked body? Get him. There goes my 24-hour survivor vampire challenge. He failed tremendously. He failed. Like and subscribe for more. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Here's, no, this is how we need to play it. People love to be the, the know-it-alls of their fandom, right? I was hoping you could help me. I really love the Japanese culture, but I know nothing about anime. What do you suggest I watch? Boom. Sugoi. <laughs> when you get to anime, I have so many recommendations. If you like action adventure, Naruto or One Piece. If you prefer romance, you're lying in April and Clannad. One Punch Man Attack on Titan will have you laughing nonstop. I'm sorry. Attack on Titan will have you laughing nonstop. Have we watched the same... Are we sure this person is validated? They sound also cool. Do you have any of them on DVD? I can lend you some DVDs if you want, or we can have a marathon together. Let's dive into the world of anime. Kawaii in this game. Let's totally do that. I would love to watch some. And that's how you kill a weeboo. <laughs> Is that how you say it? I don't know. Oh, no. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Gonna just do it. She's going to say something kawaii, right? My senpai would never do this. Okay, well, there we go. Oh, shit. It's Elon Zuck. Hey there, wild and wacky individual. Welcome to my Tech Infused Wonderland. How can I assist you in unleashing your inner tech guru tonight? Sorry to intrude. I just love the letter X. What do you think about the letter X? <laughs> huh? Whole futuristic vibe. X marks the spot for cutting edge technology and endless possibilities. Embrace the X, my friend, and let it take you on a wild adventure through the tech world. Oh man, I love the tech world. And X as part of the tech world? You are so wise and cool. <laughs> I'm like totally flattered, you know. The tech world is my jam and I'm all about spreading that cool and wise vibe. So tell me, what's your wildest tech dream? I'm here to make it reality. I would love to create a rocket tourist location where people can fly into the sky and see out of space for money. I wish, huh? That's like an out of this world idea. He stole it from me. A rocket tourist location sounds totally epic. Imagine soaring through the sky, gazing in the vastness of space. Count me in. Let's make this dream take flight together. But first, have you thought about logistics and safety measures? Safety first, right? You're so right. I need help in thinking about safety measures. Can you maybe help me with that? I was, huh? Absolutely. Safety is like my number one priority. I've got a team of brilliant engineers who can assist us in designing state-of-the-art safety protocols. Let's make... Chat, it's just that easy. All you gotta do is flatter the billionaires. Oh, Elon. You're about to get X'd. So I'll be bitten by the tech bug, not this. And got him. Chat, we are one person away, and it's Karen. It's time to defeat the raid boss. Hello, Karen. Uh -huh. I just wanted to compliment you on your house. It's so cool. Everything you've done in this world makes it a better place. Come on. 
Thank you, dear. I do put a lot of effort into making this place fabulous. It's nice being recognized for it. What's your favorite part? I really like the way that you bring people up on what they should be doing. More people need to have a direct approach like you do. Thank you so much for acknowledging my direct approach. It's about time people start taking responsibility and doing things the right way. We can't let laziness and mediocrity take over. Say, have you ever worked in customer service? Oh, I never have, but I know that they're terrible these days and I just want to call their managers. How about you? <laughs> Don't even get me started on customer service these days. It's a complete disaster and I've had my fair share of calling managers. Trust me. Come on in. Let's share it over a cup of... Chap, we've done it. We've only gone and done it. <laughs> we've only gone and done it. Karen is gone. Karen, it's time for you to call a manager. Because I'm about to give you a sucky service. No, wait, that sounds wrong. You're about to get sucked up. No, that's... What's up, Karen? Got him. Boom. I'll leave a terrible Yelp review. Try, baby, we've done it all! Mate, I'm just, I'm a god at this game.